In this episode, we'll look at when to sow pepper seeds. We'll take a look at where you are in the world, when your first and last frost date is, and what equipment you have. And from there, we'll make a, an informed decision and decide when to plant pepper seeds. Roll that intro. Hi there, welcome to Welsh Chili, the channel where you can follow our journey setting up a hot sauce company. We'll also give you tips and tricks on how to grow, preserve and cook with super hot peppers. If you haven't done so already, can you just hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and that will let YouTube know that you want to see more of our videos. It'll also give you a notification when we release our next video so you can stay up to date and never miss a video. So there's a number of things to take into account when deciding when to grow pepper seeds. Uh, the first being whereabouts you are in the world. So if you're in Europe, United States, China, Japan or Mexico, then you're in the Northern Hemisphere and uh, you should be looking to sow your seeds around January, February. Um, that'll give you the month at least. And if you're in Argentina or Australia, Chile and so on, then you're in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you should look to start your seeds around August, September. Now, there are some continents like Asia and Africa that have countries both in the Southern Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere. So um, you need to have a look where you are in the world, uh, see if you're in the Northern or the Southern Hemisphere, and then uh, at least that'll give you a starting month. So that brings me on to the next factor, the weather. Now, it might look like it's uh, nice and sunny outside, but believe me, it's uh, really cold. It's uh, still February and the last frost date still hasn't passed. When looking to plant your plants outside, you need to have a look at the plant hardiness zone maps. So I'll pop one up now for the world, but um, this is uh, not that accurate. Uh, it'll give you a relatively good idea. But if you want a more accurate one, you need to search on Google for zone hardiness maps in your area. So into Google, you'd put something like uh, UK zone hardiness maps if you're in the UK or, you know, France if you're in France. So essentially what they do is they give you the number of days between your last frost date and your first frost date. Now this will give you the number of days that you can plant outside for now, uh, I've got a couple of plants here on the windowsill, but um, they're plants from last year, so they're uh, pretty hardy and uh, they're okay with the amount of sunlight out at the minute. But um, if you were to go and try and germinate seeds on a windowsill, I wouldn't recommend it because the temperature can fluctuate and um, the number of light hours that you get in winter time is not quite enough to... Uh, to get your plant started. So this brings me on to the final factor, which is equipment. Now, when you're starting your seeds inside uh, to make sure that they germinate properly, you need to be looking at the amount of light they get and uh, also the temperature. So when you start seeds, uh, the super hots generally need a uh, pretty high temperature around 25 degrees uh, celsius so um, you need some sort of heat mat or a heated propagator and uh, because you won't get um, that much light on a windowsill you'll end up with leggy uh, seedlings if you try and grow them on the windowsill in winter uh, you'll need some kind of a light source now in the background here i've got a heated propagator now this comes with a grow light as well as a thermostat so I can uh, keep control of the temperature inside and as well as that I can put extra sides on here to uh, grow this uh, propagator as the plant gets taller so I can go up to 11 times the size of this um, so that means that I could comfortably grow 30 uh, to 40 chilli plants and keep them inside for about uh, two to three months so that gives me enough time to uh, get them outside when the last frost has been. 
Now, depending on how much space you've got and um, the budget you've got to, to spend on your indoor growing equipment, um, you can go for a, uh, there's plenty of cheap um, grow lights out there. And um, to be honest, if you're just uh, starting seeds and germinating, then um, they're uh, adequate enough. You can use a, a strip light, you know, like a uh, T8 or something. Um, and that will give enough light for, for seedlings if you're uh, planning to take the uh, plant outside afterwards. Um, as well as that, you could uh, buy yourself a little grow tent. So uh, if you've got enough space for a grow tent, then uh, you can put one of them up and um, you can uh, keep them in a comfortable environment so that the temperature fluctuations uh, don't affect them uh, that much. So in conclusion, guys, um, first, you need to have a look at whereabouts you are in the world. So if you're in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere, this will give you an indication of uh, about what month to start your pepper seeds. And then you need to have a look at your regional plant hardiness zones. So uh, have a look at the map, work out how many uh, frost-free days you've got and uh, that will give you a good indication of when you can take your plants outside. And then thirdly, have a look at what equipment you've got inside, and um, if need be, uh, upgrade a few bits so you can have those extra few days to uh, get your plants off to a good start indoors before you have to plant them outside. So um, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you've liked it. If you have, then uh, smash that like button. And uh, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, I'm sure you've started your seeds by now. Um, I'd love to know how they're doing. Um, so uh, you can uh, pop me a little comment down below saying uh, what you've grown this year and uh, how they're getting on. So that's it for this video. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. But remember, if you're going to go hot, go super hot.